everyone, a very warm welcome to you as normal. Today we're going to look at Astro Blaster on the ZX Spectrum, uh, originally coded on the 16K Spectrum, but I'm playing it in 48K mode. This game was published by Quicksilver in 1983 and written by John Edwards. Essentially you must kill all invaders and avoid meteors in this space type shooter. Based on the arcade game which came out by Sega in 1981, um, there's a few differences from this and the arcade game. Um, your ship can't overheat on this one, so that's good. And I think you've got unlimited fuel. So here we go. These things, these waves shooting at us, these aliens, they're great. Cool. They're starting off quite sh shooting a lot of stuff at us at this immediately, but it will get more and more as the game goes through. Now, if I don't do very well, I have got a cheap infinite lives I can put in. After you destroyed a couple of waves of aliens, you then get an asteroid storm you're supposed to fly through. So hopefully I can at least get to that bit. So here we go. Quite a basic game, but animation is good and it plays well for 1983. So based on the arcade game, but a few bits it hasn't actually got. Um, if you want to compare this with other space games on the ZX Spectrum, you've got Galaxian and Galaxians. You've got Space Raiders as well. And also um, Mooncrester and Terracrester. My preference is Mooncrester over Terracrester. Oh my god. Right, let's get through. Cool, this looks pretty difficult. Um, we probably can shoot these things out the way. This is tough. See my lives there in the bottom left, or shields as it's called. We lose all that, we're game over and it's doomed. But this is good, I like this one. Good animation. Great stuff. Right, we're through. What's that thing? It looks like a big pancake in space. Maybe we can just avoid it. It's gradually getting higher and higher, like a big bomb. I'm getting scared now. What's going to happen? Uh, Kablamo somehow. Is it? You can't go much higher. My eardrums can't anyway. Oh, it's gone beyond dog hearing now. Yeah, right, that's good. So just avoid that thing. You probably get super points for shooting it, but it was firing so much stuff. So the next wave of aliens. They're different to the first lot, but it's the same colour. Yeah, I'm quite liking this. I was at the end of my shields. Game over. Great, so good example. If you can find this one, buy it. We'll put a cheat in, a pokey, to see how far we can get. See if the meteors change colour or anything, but this won't be a super long review. Astro Blaster, if you want to uh, track this one down, if you're into, oh, I want to put my name in then, if you're into space shooters, then you can't go wrong with this one. 16K on the 48K. Kill all the invaders, avoid meteors, and that's pretty much it, really. Other games around at the time were asteroids, I guess, but on the spectrum that comes Meteor Storm, Planetoids, and, well, Meteoroids, but I'd avoid Meteoroids. Check out Meteor Storm rather than those other two. Attack! Shoot! What's your favourite shoot 'em up? I might have asked this before in terms of the Space Invaders type arcadey games. I like the waves this, it's not moving just left to right, it's going up and down as well. It's a little bit unpredictable, not sure this is random ball by design. They've redesigned the font as well, you can see Astro Blasters in yellow up the top. I would have liked to have seen a way of them coding it so the uh, gun could overheat, you have to rest it a little bit. In the arcade game the ship looks a little bit like the ship from Battlestar Galactica and this one it looks a bit different. It looks like uh, some sort of bottle with two boosters attached to it, but we'll, we'll let that go. This is 8-bit glory. It does save your highest score as well, which is cool. So we've got one of these green seagulls from space and they're pretty evil, that's why we're, we're attacking them, I'd imagine. Hoorah! If you haven't subscribed to the channel, um, please do so. Um, I don't belong to any of those sites where I get about a thousand subs for free, like I see in some some uh, channels, which uh, they're on 500 subs, and then six months later they're on 3,000 with their views staying the same. So that's a bit of a dig by me, but uh, you know, I do it the honest way. So if you can sub, that'd be cool. Hooray, right, let's destroy this thing. Right, get through the asteroid storm, and as we know, asteroids are always red. Like we're stuck in a popcorn machine. Hmm. Might be... Is there a gap around this? They're very compact, aren't they, these things? Yeah, hats off to the coder there, John Edwards. A lot moving on screen at the same time. For 1983, he's done a spectacular job, I would say. We're through! Now this thing... Can we kill this thing? I don't think so. Where's it getting all this ammunition from? 
in space, no one can hear you scream, but you can hear this higher thing as this ship goes mental. I don't know what this looks like on the arcades. Um, this meteor thing that blows up. Maybe you have to destroy it or the whole screen explodes. Yes, no. Right, that, that was easy. So just avoid that thing. Probably best avoid the meteors. And as you can see by the next wave, progressively, the aliens are firing more and more things at you. I think patience is the key here. But I'm not a very patient person. So you've got unlimited amount of time, really. Haven't got to do this in a set time frame. If you're looking for a good modern day space shooter based on the old ones, then, um, what is it? Infinity Gene on the PlayStation 3 I've reviewed. That's uh, come out in 2010 or 2011. Check that one out as well. That uh, takes this to a new era. I, I love Infinity Gene. Attack, attack, attack. Right, this is about as far as we got last time without the cheat on, wasn't it? Get past these fellas. Die, please. That'd be nice. Right, next asteroid field. Always reminds me of um, The Empire Strikes Back this, I'm sure it's influenced by that. Eight bit games always better when you do your own music. Unless it's my music and you'll listen to it in a review. So what do you seriously think about this? Could have been better or really great for the time? I think really great for the time. This is my favourite era of gaming by far. And there's quite a lot of games that attempt to be like this, and this is one of the better ones. So if you bought Astro Blaster back in the day, I don't think you would have been disappointed. Um, it's interesting, different levels there. Uh, pretty difficult is the further you get through, but a lot of them were back in the day. Yeah, this is good stuff. You would have had a lot of fun and enjoyment out of this game. Excellent stuff. Right, aliens are always green for some reason. Maybe they'll, they'll go a different colour next time. So that's a, a small thing, but I, I'd imagine they'll go a different colour. I don't know how many levels are, there are on this one. Knowing the coders, it probably goes on for quite some time. Right, okay, let's pick off this mob. Generally, there's two ways of aliens before each asteroid storm. And then there's that, that weird ship going bananas, higher and higher beeping before it explodes. That's not going to scare anyone. Okay, we don't get to go to hyperspace in this one. I think in the arcade game, now I might be wrong here, that you get to dock with a, a mothership as well to replenish your fuel. This is really stripped down from that arcade version. Shoot it, fat boy. Oops dear, I felt that right on the backwater. We need we need backup here. These aliens are relentless. I've got too many. What we've got three left. What? I, look at the amount of stuff that's being fired at me now. How would I have got here without a poke on? I do not know. If you got further than this without a poke on, then uh, please tell me. Uh, another recent 8-bit shooter we reviewed was Ad Astra. Well, essentially, the aim of that is to survive as long as you can. Interesting angle on that one, bit of a 3D perspective. So if you haven't already, have a look at that one as well. I put Ad Astra slightly ahead of this, I'd say, but this is this is cool too. Um, right, this is what an asteroid field sounds like, folks. Sounds a bit like a train. <laughs> Man, this bit's scary. If you went into your house and heard this, you'd think, hang on a minute, there's some serious stuff going down. Is my house going to blow up? Uh, uh, everyone run out of the house. We all know what's going to happen here, isn't it? It's going to go kablooey. One, two, three. It's going to go. It's going to go any second now. Any second. Kablooey. Right, okay, that's the end of that thing. Now we're off to these, these guys. I would like to Space Invaders game a bit like this that used all the enemies of Manic Miner. That would have been quite good, wouldn't it? Is there anything like that? Has anyone coded that? There's some great enemies in Manic Miner and Jet Set Willy, of course. You put them in a Space Invaders game. Jet Set Invaders. I don't think that exists. Code that, someone. If you listen to this and you're a top coder with the Spectrum Next going to be released soon, put out Jet Set Invaders. Let me know and I will review it. That would be good, wouldn't it? Excellent. Is anyone listening to this who's a coder? Probably not. Jet Set Invaders. Maria won't be too happy, but she might be one of the invaders. And it's raining, raining red on my head. Right, okay. 
I almost sang Purple Rain there, so you got away with that. It wasn't purple, it was red. Right, making short work of this mob. Three left, one left. Come on. Right, I think we'll uh, call it an end quite soon, because it seems to get a little bit repetitive now. You've got the idea. Different waves of aliens, gradually shooting more and more stuff. And with this compact asteroid field, which seems pretty similar each time. It's always staying the same colour. Could have changed the colour between each one, but there we go. Probably there's a reason behind it. No real colour clash at all. Maybe a little bit, but it's not really a colour clash type of game. Oh, that's good. It blew that thing up. Right, okay. And it's another green wave of aliens. Hmm. You know, I think we will call it a day there. So I hope you liked having a look at that one. A rather cool game from the early 80s. That was Astro Blaster, published by Quicksilver in 1983, written by John Edwards. Thanks for watching that again. If you've got any comments about this game, similar ones, or Space Invaders in general, then please put that below. Until next time, take great care of yourself, and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.